Hey, come check your binos. They're moving. See them? Here. To the left of the wall? Yeah. They're moving. Dang it. We got some turkey spotted. Um, they're up high up off the ridge and we know roughly where they're roosting. So we've got a huge advantage as long as we can beat them to the bottom because they're gonna roost down in the bottom and they're on this wide open hillside. So as long as we can get in front of them before they get dropped down, we're gonna be in a really good position. We've entered Casey's kill mode. Fifteen jakes in her lap. I've never ever in my life seen that many jakes in one flock. It was crazy. One long beard, but he stayed about 80 yards away and wouldn't come in. All those jakes were probably within 15 yards. So they came running to the fan. And it's like when one jake starts running, they all start running. But they didn't really spook, but that Tom did not want to leave the hens. The hens were going back to the roost. The jakes were coming our way and that Tom just stayed in the middle and would not leave. So that was it tough to hunt that big old Tom. It's a little misty outside. More severe weather's on its way. And by 11 o'clock, there could be a snowflake. But the good news is we're in a truck where we're gonna work our way back to our hunting spot. And Lord willing, within an hour or two, we'll have a couple beard, bearded birds on the ground. And uh, the thing about it is it's, it's, it's wet, but the ranchers are happy, so we're happy for them. Yeah. Yep, I see a couple big ones. We have some birds ahead of us. We're just, uh, we're all tired, so we're, we're kind of low energy right now. Rainy outside, it's nice and warm in here and dry. But, but we're gonna get after these birds. As you saw, we got those turkeys spotted and we kept driving over the road and parked over the knoll and we're gonna walk along the knoll and pop over and show that fan and hopefully well, it'll be quick. It's gonna happen one way or the other pretty quick. Another shell. I'm out. Watch, Casey, watch that cripple. Yep. Is he good? No. No, he's hurt. No. I gotta go get a shell. Yep, go ahead. Good job! Good follow up, buddy. Oh, buddy. Limb hanger. Oh, really? Oh, look at that hook. Oh wow! <laughs> that is a. I actually think he's the smaller of the two. Well, that was fun. I shot the first one at four yards. Four had to have been. Four. Oh, it was. Oh, it was. it was. He came to the top of the. Oh, literally, it was. He was from me to you, and he poked his head up, and I was just like, Bam! and his head went. I don't even. It went. Whoa! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> and that was the dominant bird you yeah. shot first. Yeah. 
Oh, the Spurs oh, wow. on that one. You shot two nice birds. No wonder why he wanted to come up there and take care of business. Look at the Spurs. Wow. wow. Miriam? Which yeah. was good. Yesterday, honestly, what, I mean, it was obviously fun. The, the most fun thing is chasing them and getting them come in and do that. So yeah. at the end of the day, it's just about being out here and having fun and hanging out with people that you love being with. But uh, I really was never too worried. The buyers boys tend to get it done. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, Man, this morning we were really slow getting out of the cabin. The weather was foul, fog, rain. One thing we learned today is don't let a little bit of foul weather spoil your, your plans. I mean, we kind of kidded after both turkeys were shot. Can't kill a turkey in the cabin. Those turkeys are gonna keep doing what turkeys do. And they were out there. Yeah.